Hi, welcome to Joe's Metal Detected Adventures. Here we are on the field searching for history with a group of four of us. Me, Mark, Stuart and Carl from Spinner Disc and we're testing the Equinox against the Simplex. So let's just see how we do. So I've been joined now with uh, Mark and uh, with his, his Equinox. So I've got Mark, Stuart and Carl. It is just had an 18, uh, what is it, Carl? 1882 sixpence. With the simplex. Cracking. And then he moved about two foot and then he had, what else did he have, mate? Catwheel penny. Catwheel penny. And this is the field I've done. So, so far the simplex is doing okay against the Equinox eight, uh, 11 inch. But there's time in the day yet. We're just hoping that Stuart comes up with trumps to this Equinox. Don't we, Stuart? Oh, have you found one? Have you, yeah, Stuart? Yeah, yeah. Eight, eight and a half. Eight, 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 eight. Oh, so you see. Yeah, it's, it's coming really along. Bad condition, though. Bad condition, yeah. Well done, Stuart. Let's see what it is. Oh, yes, we've got Carly. Likes his simplex now that he's found a few things. On this side, then. It's a tiny button. So straight away, yeah. Mark's come up with a, a, a Vicky half penny. First signal, jobs are good. And so, so far, the Equinox rushes straight into the lead with more, more stuff. Well done, mate. It's... Uh, 87. Oh, cracking. <laughs> yes. Golf balls. Nothing like it. 60. With the Noct... Macro Nocta. Simplex, 60. It is a coin. Type of coin. Bunny. Da, 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 da. George V Bunny there. Okay, the first coin with the Simplex today. Next. I think we've got a Malaysian or Thailand coin. Uh, Young Cal has just found. Nothing to shout about, but probably 1960s or 70s, I should imagine. Probably nine, probably a Second World War thing. And it, mate, just to uh, have that on there, it's brass ring there uh, with the simplex. Yeah, so uh, he's come up trumps with the old Equinox as uh, Mark. Uh, 1921, sixpence. Silver! Oh, Silver! Cracking pal! Very good, brilliant, so. I don't think it's right good me personally, but I think it's a door handle or something, small little drawer handle, something like that. Well Mark's come up with a horse brass uh, mountain. Yeah, jolly good. Not exactly uh, the brilliant fine, but it's a, but it's a fine uh, no matter what, is it mate? Yeah, he's got a dessert spoon, uh, pewter, probably 16th to 17th century. Obviously they've been eating in here. So this is Carl's little find, old find, so far in this field. Cracking, carry on the good work, pal. But, uh, here we go. There we have it. 37. Cool there, I think it's a figurine, maybe a woman or a bloke. Uh, it's like sitting down or something. Yeah, isn't that weird that? I don't, don't quite sure, but it's lead. Not sure of what the age of that. Somebody sitting down, somebody, I don't know what it's done, but that's really interesting. Seven coppers maybe, and a silver sixpence. So what's in total, total coins? Eight coins. Eight coins in total, with the Equinox. Um, ten coins and a ring, and a spoon. All right. So a good okay. day with Simplex. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, we've had about four hours out today, and they only found three coins. Okay, well, that's three with the, with the, with the, Equinox 800. So I've found one coin, so with using the Simplex with same as Carl Simplex. So it's uh, I think it's 12 coins with the Simplexes today. And then with Mark, uh, eight uh, and um, uh, Stuart, 11. So I mean, there's not much in it really, but still, it just shows that they're good machines. 